Set phasers to fun. It's PVC flute time. This is how a sound wave enters the flute. Good. This is a diagram of how the air enters the flute. This is the player's lips. The arrows are the air. This is the flute. Some of the air goes into the flute. Some does not. Pitch and wave length is determined by the length of the tube. As we've learned before, pitch is determined by frequency of the waves. Considering the same amount of air is traveling through each of the tubes, the wavelength will be smaller when the tube is shorter, such as this one on the far right, and larger when the tube is longer, such as this one on the far left. Therefore, a shorter wa wavelength results in a higher frequency, which means a higher pitch, and vice versa. The force vibration and the vibration of one object causes the other to vibrate as well. So by blowing the tube, the column of air inside vibrates. This is just like resonance, because the force vibration matches the natural frequency of the tube. <laughs> Nailed it! A musical instrument has a set of natural frequencies at which it vibrates at when a disturbance is introduced into it. These natural frequencies are known as the harmonics of the instrument. Each harmonic is associated with a standing wave pattern. This is a diagram of the first harmonic, also known as the fundamental frequency. Two antinodes and one node. One half of a wave is in the column. This is the second harmonic. There are two nodes and three antinodes. There is one full wave in the column. This is the third harmonic. There are three nodes and four antinodes. And there's three halves of a wave inside of the column. This is a chart composed of the pitches of our flute and the wavelength and frequencies of each of those pitches. As you can see, the deeper of the tone of the pitch, as that gets lower, the wavelength increases but the harmonics decrease with the pitch. This is a perfect example of how wavelength and frequency are inversely related. I'm performing jingle bells. Thank you. <laughs> we will now play a second song.